once again and today this is going to be a update video on a video I did earlier this year it was about putting my Commodore 64 through a VGA monitor didn't have no success there because the picture wasn't right um, so what I've done now with my um, video connector to VGA thing I haven't put it through the composite um, thing here I've used the SD video this time and I've used um, composite to to an adapter so it goes into um, yes video and the VGA obviously goes in the monitor um, so we switch it on right as you can see it's a much improved picture it's in the middle at least but the problem is now if you can see it on the camera I zoom in you can see these white lines um, um, it's not very I mean it looks clear if you look through the camera but when you look at it through the eye it's not um, something's not right it's not right at all um, uh, you know when you connect it through a TV um, it's a lot clearer but it reminds me of the old RF cable days when you have to tune the TV in manually. So it's definitely, um, I don't know, it, it, I'm not going to waste my time anymore trying to connect my Commodore 64 through a monitor. It's just clearly, it's just not going to work. You know, unless I get high quality cables, that might be the answer. But I'm not willing to do that. One, I don't often use the Commodore 64 that much at all. Um, and two, I just connect it through a TV if I really want to. I mean, the reason why I chose this monitor because it's just a nice right size. It's got built-in speakers, um, three by four aspect ratio. Just it would just be perfect for it. But but I'm not going to spend too much money on cables where I just connect it to a TV. I mean, it was just basically just a trial trial thing anyway. But, you know, I had to see what it was like. I mean, the cable didn't cost much. I can use this device for other things if I want to. So, not all lost. But it's just a shame. It's just a shame. But, you know, it's a step in the right direction. At least the picture ain't, um, like, half over here, half over there, and a big line in the middle. So, perhaps I can improve on the picture somehow. I don't know. Perhaps it's just, as I said, I might need higher quality cables. But there you go. Worth a try, and I have to thank uh, someone on, I can't remember his name now, thank someone on YouTube for this. He did leave a comment in my videos, suggesting using the SD, S video rather. It's a, it works sort of, it's better than how it was for sure, but it's definitely not perfect, as you can see. You can see these white lines going down. So... To the naked eye, it's very noticeable. In the picture, you can see it's quite fuzzy as well. So, not perfect. I'll run it through the TV as normal. Anyway, I had to try it. I, you know, I had to see it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.